Pinocchio, by Enrico Mazzotti, the first illustrator of the adventures of Pinocchio Carlo Lorenzini, better known by the pen name Carlo Collodi. Was an Italian author, humorist, and journalist, widely known for his fairy tale novel The Adventures of Pinocchio. Collodi was born in Florence on November 24, 1826. His mother Angelina Orzali Lorenzini was a seamstress from the town of Collodi from which he took the pen name and his father Domenico Lorenzini was a cook, and both worked for the Marchese Ganori Lisci. Carlo was the eldest child in the family and he had ten siblings but seven died at a young age. He spent most of his childhood in the town of Collodi where his mother was born. He lived there with his maternal grandmother. After attending primary school, he was sent to study at a theological seminary called Col Val del Sa. An account at the seminary shows that the Marchese had offered financial aid, but the boy found that he did not want to be a priest so he continued his education at the College of the Scolopi Fathers in Florence. In 1844 he started working at the Florentine bookstore Libreria Piatti, where he assisted Giuseppe Iazzi, a prominent Italian manuscript specialist. During the Italian Wars of Independence in 1848 and 1860 Collodi served as a volunteer with the Tuscan army. His active interest in political matters may be seen in his earliest literary works as well as in the founding of the satirical newspaper Il Lampion in 1853. This newspaper was censored by order of the Grand Duke of Tuscany. In 1854 he published his second newspaper, Lo Scaramaccia. Lorenzini's first publications were in his periodicals. A debut came in 1856 with the play Lea Maikai di Casa and Parodic Guidebook on Romanzo and Vapore, both in 1856. By 1860, he published his first notable work called Il Signor Alberi Ha Ragione, which outlined his political and cultural vision of Italy. This is the text where Lorenzini started using the Collodi pseudonym, which was taken from his mother's hometown. Collodi had also begun intense activity on other political newspapers such as Il Fanfula, at the same time he was employed by the Censorship Commission for the Theatre. During this period he composed various satirical sketches and stories, including Machiet, Oki e Nasi, and Storie Allegre. Collodi became disenchanted with Italian politics afterwards so he turned to children's literature and his first works involved translating French fairy tales into Italian. In 1875, for instance, he completed Racconi del Fate, a translation of French fairy tales by Charles Perrault. In 1876 Lorenzini wrote Giannatino, The Minizolo, and Il Viaggio per Leader Italia di Giannatino. A pedagogic series which explored the unification of Italy through the ironic thoughts and actions of the character Giannatino. Lorenzini became fascinated by the idea of using an amiable, rascally character as a means of expressing his own convictions through allegory. In 1880 he began writing Storia di un Burrettino, also called La Aventura di Pinocchio, which was published weekly in Giornale per i Bambini. Pinocchio was adapted into a 1940 film by Disney that is considered to be one of Disney's greatest films. Collodi died suddenly in Florence on October 26, 1890 at the age of 63 and is interred at Cimitero Monumentale del Port Sante in Florence. The National Carlo Collodi Foundation was established to promote education and the works of Carlo Lorenzini, and the Park of Pinocchio attracts many visitors each year. Thanks for watching.